Because I'm curious that why do you think that this is the first constant? Do you think that we have never done a constant like this before? And if not, why? Because incident response seems to be a topic which is of interest to a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, the genesis of this is 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 very much just like you say. We expected there to already be a conference out there for incident management of some sort. And when we were looking for one to participate in, um, you know, we found SRECon and DevOps Days, you know, all these other sort of more generic, you know, uh, uh, industry conferences that tend to have pieces about incident response. But as this industry moves more and more towards kind of a wider audience, a more interesting community, you know, a multidisciplinary community across uh, people inside of companies, it got more and more interesting to us to say, well, maybe we could just put an entire agenda together that's really focused on incident management, incident response across organizations. And it really just took off from there. We, we ended up putting up putting together a really fantastic list of speakers who were excited. Um, and I think it's it's starting to take off, which is pretty pretty exciting when you build a conference. It's always it's always a bit nervous when you come out and want to bring a new community together. But I really have the sense that this community needs a place to come together, and IRConf is really meant to be that. It's very purposefully free, easy to access, um, and virtual, so that anyone can can attend. Can you talk about what are going to be some of the key um, topics or areas of focus of this conference? Yeah, so we've got Emily Freeman is uh, keynoting this, who's who's the author of DevOps for Dummies. Really fantastic speaker. Um, she gave an oversubscribed speech at um, uh, AWS reInvent this year that was pretty fascinating around the software development life cycle. Um, and here she's focusing more on like revolutionizing incident response, right? These big changes that we're really seeing in the industry around who is participating and when do we participate in incident response, which is pretty exciting. Um, we've also got Jay Paul Reed, uh, who's a, a applied resilience engineer, senior applied resilience engineer at Netflix. Uh, we've got Dave Renzen, who previously was a, a SVP at uh, Google, who uh, uh, handled customer reliability engineering, which is a really cool topic. Um, and then we've even got people like Christine Yen from Honeycomb and Pedro Kenahuati from 1Password. Like, what's so cool about this is that the topics that are going to be covered are from all sorts of different organizations and tech, and, and primarily folks who are sort of up near the top talking about the cultural impacts as well as the practical impacts of how do we really do a good job of being stewards of incident management within our companies as this space starts to take more shape. Um, so the topics are everything from how do customers play in, right? How is incident management changing as it spreads across the organization? Um, how do we do incidents at scale, right? How do we rethink on-call setup? Um, there are these really kind of, uh, uh, you know, philosophy challenging talks that we might take the way traditional organizations deal with things today, where incidents, as we've talked about before, you and I, tend to be dealt with as panic, right? And instead, what are the actual practices that you can apply to this space and uh, and start to be a good practitioner? So, so yeah, those are some of the topics being talked about and some of the speakers.